Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed the section Outer Angles. And we have learned the sum of the inner and outer angles at a vertex is 180 degree. Today, we are going to learn the next section, Unchanging Sum. Here, we are going to discuss the sum of outer angles of a polygon. Let us take the simplest polygon at the beginning. It is a triangle. We know there are three angles for a triangle. By angles, we mean the inner angles. Now, when we extend the sides, we get outer angles like this. And for a triangle, there are three outer angles also. The sum of these two angles is 180. The sum of these two angles is also 180. Similarly, the sum of these two angles is also 180. These are the three inner angles and these are the three outer angles. So we can say the sum of all inner and outer angles of this triangle is 180 plus 180 plus 180 or 3 into 180. Now what is the sum of the inner angles of a triangle? That is 180. This is sum of inner and outer angles. This is the sum of the inner angles alone. Now, to find the sum of outer angles, it is enough to subtract sum of inner angles from the total sum of angles. That is, sum of outer angles is 3 into 180 minus 180. 180 means 1 180. From 3 180s, if we subtract 1 180, we get 2 180s or 2 into 180. And that is equal to 360 degree. That means, sum of the outer angles of a triangle is 360 degrees. Now, let us take a quadrilateral. We know there are 4 angles for a quadrilateral and therefore there are 4 outer angles also. And the sum of inner and outer angles at each vertex is 180 degree. This is 180, this is also 180, this is also 180 and this is also 180. That means, the sum of all inner and outer angles is 4 times 180. Now, what is the sum of the inner angles of a quadrilateral? Sum of the inner angles of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180. Here, n is 4 as a quadrilateral has 4 sides. Therefore, sum of the inner angles is 4 minus 2 into 180 or 2 into 180. Now, to find the sum of outer angles, we have to subtract sum of inner angles from sum of inner and outer angles that is sum of outer angles equal to 4 into 180 minus 2 into 180. From 4 180s if we subtract 2 180s we get 2 180s and 2 180s are 360. That means sum of the outer angles of a quadrilateral is also 360 degree. Now let us find sum of the outer angles of a pentagon. There are 5 angles for a pentagon and when we extend the sides, we get 5 outer angles also. And the sum of the inner and outer angles at each vertex is 180 degree. So sum of these two angles is 180, sum of these two angles is also 180, sum of these two angles is 180, sum of these two angles is also 180, sum of these two angles is also 180 degree. That means, sum of all inner and outer angles of a pentagon is 5 into 180 degree. Now, what is the sum of inner angles of a pentagon? Here, n is 5. Therefore, sum of inner angles is 5 minus 2 into 180 or 3 into 180. Now, to get sum of outer angles, we have to subtract sum of inner angles from sum of inner and outer angles. That is, Sum of outer angles equal to 5 into 180 minus 3 into 180. From 5 180s, if we subtract 3 180s, we get 2 180s and that is equal to 360 degree. That means sum of the outer angles of a pentagon is also 360 degree. So we have seen that sum of the outer angles of a triangle is 360 degree, sum of the outer angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. Sum of the outer angles of a pentagon is 360 degree. Is it true for all the polygons? Let us check. 
Let us take an n-sided polygon. We know the number of sides, angles and outer angles for any polygon is same. So when we take a polygon of n sides, number of angles is also n, number of outer angles is also n. And we know that at each vertex, the sum of the inner and outer angle is 180 degree. Since there are n vertices and we get a sum of 180 degree at each vertex, the total sum of inner and outer angles is n into 180 degree. Now, what is the sum of the inner angles of an n-sided polygon? It is n minus 2 into 180 degree. Now, to get the sum of outer angles, we have to subtract sum of inner angles from total sum of inner and outer angles. That is, sum of outer angles is n into 180 minus n minus 2 into 180. This is n times 180 and this is 2 less than n times 180. From n 180s, if we subtract n minus 2 180s, what will we get? From 3 180s, if we subtract 1 180, we get 2 180s. From 5 180s, if we subtract 3 180s, we get 2 180s. From 10 180s, if we subtract 8 180s, we get 2 180s. So, from n 180s, if we subtract n minus 2 180s, we get 2 180s and that is equal to 360 degrees. That means sum of the outer angles of an n-sided polygon is 360 degree and can take any value. That means for any polygon sum of outer angles is always 360 degree. Now let us do some problems. First problem, all angles in an 18-sided polygon are equal. How much is each outer angle? We know sum of the outer angles of any polygon is 360 degree. Here number of sides is 80. Therefore number of angles and number of outer angles is also 18. Now let us find one outer angle. We know one outer angle is sum of the outer angles divided by number of outer angles or 360 by 18. That means one outer angle is 20 degree. Second problem. The sides PQ and RS of the quadrilateral shown below are parallel. Compute all inner and outer angles of the quadrilateral. Let us take the figure. Given that PQ and RS are parallel, therefore these are a pair of co-interior angles and hence they are supplementary or their sum is 180 degree. Since this angle is 50 degree, this is 180 minus 50 or 130 degree. Similarly, these two are another pair of co-interior angles, their sum is also 180 degree. Since this angle is 110 degree, this angle is 180 minus 110 or 70 degree. Now we have got all the four inner angles. We can find the outer angles now. We know the sum of the inner and outer angles at any vertex is 180 degree. Since this angle is 50 degree, this outer angle is 180 minus 50 or 130 degree. Similarly, this outer angle is 180 minus 70 or 110 degree. This outer angle is 180 minus 110 or 70 degree. This outer angle is 180 minus 130 or 50 degree. Third problem. Draw a quadrilateral and mark any two outer angles. Is there any relation between the sum of these two and the inner angles at the other two vertices? Let us first draw a quadrilateral. Let me mark two outer angles. Extend this side. I get an outer angle here. Let it be x degree. Now let me extend this side. So there is an outer angle. Let it be y degree. So I have marked two outer angles in this quadrilateral. Now let us find the inner angles at these two vertices. Since this outer angle is x degree, this inner angle is 180 minus x degree. Similarly, this inner angle is 180 minus y degree. We need to find the relation between sum of these two outer angles and 
sum of the inner angles at the other two vertices. Let us find sum of these two outer angles. This angle is x degree. This angle is y degree. Therefore, their sum is x plus y degree. Now, let us find sum of the inner angles at the other two vertices. We know sum of all the four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. Therefore, sum of these two angles is 360 minus sum of these two angles. So, let us first find sum of these two angles. That is 180 minus x degree plus 180 minus y degree. 180 plus 180 is 360. So, this can be written as 360 minus x minus y. Now, sum of the inner angles at the other two vertices is 360 minus sum of the inner angles at these two vertices or 360 minus 360 minus x minus y. Let us first remove this bracket. We have to give this minus sign to each and every term within this bracket. So, this becomes minus 360, this becomes plus x and this becomes plus y. So, we can write this as 360 minus 360 plus x plus y. 360 minus 360 is 0. So, this can be written as x plus y. These two are equal. That is, sum of the two outer angles at any vertices are equal to sum of the inner angles at the other two vertices. Fourth problem. In a polygon with all angles equal, one outer angle is twice an inner angle. How much is each of its angles? How many sides does it have? Here, all angles are equal. And given that one outer angle is twice an inner angle, let us take the inner angle as x degree. Then the outer angle is twice the inner angle or 2 times x. We know sum of the inner and outer angles at a vertex is 180 degree. That means x plus 2x is 180 degree. x plus 2x is 3x. So, this can be written as 3x equal to 180 degree. Let us find x. Take 3 on the other side. So, x is equal to 180 by 3 and that is equal to 60. x is 60 degree means inner angle is 60 degree. Then outer angle is 2 times x or 120 degree. We know in any polygon, number of sides, number of angles and number of outer angles are equal. So, to find number of sides, it is enough to find number of outer angles. And we know number of outer angles is sum of outer angles divided by one outer angle. Sum of outer angles of any polygon is 360 degree and here one outer angle is 120 degree. So, this can be written as 360 divided by 120 and that is equal to 3. That means there are 3 outer angles and therefore the number of sides of this polygon is also 3. Fifth problem. The sum of the outer angles of a polygon is twice the sum of the inner angles. How many sides does it have? What if the sum of the outer angles is half the sum of inner angles? and if the sums are equal. First of all, given that sum of the outer angles is twice the sum of the inner angles. We know sum of the outer angles is 360 degree. This is twice the sum of the inner angles means sum of the inner angles is 180 degree because 2 times 180 is 360 degree. When the sum of the inner angles is 180 degree, we know it is a triangle. Therefore, number of sides is 3. Secondly, given that sum of the outer angle is half the sum of the inner angles, we know sum of the outer angles is 360 degree. This is half the sum of the inner angles means sum of the inner angles is 720 degree because 360 is half 720. Now, we know sum of the inner angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Sum of the inner angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. Sum of the inner angles of a pentagon is 540 degree. And sum of the inner angles of a hexagon is 720 degree. Therefore, this is a hexagon. And hence, the number of sides is 6. Thirdly, given that sum of the inner and outer angles are equal. 
we know sum of the outer angles is 360 degree so in this case sum of the inner angles is also 360 degree when the sum of the inner angles is 360 degree we know it is a quadrilateral therefore number of sides is 4 we shall discuss the remaining part of this lesson in the next video till then bye